Welcome to New Realities. My name is Alan Steinfeld. And this program is an investigation into this explosion of spirituality that we seem to be having on the planet. There's a lot of focus on new ways of looking at the world and new realities, which is why I call the program that name, because we're learning about new ways of thinking. And what opened me up to all this was seeing someone channeling a being from the past. And in that moment, I knew that it, I was more than my body. Because here was a voice with wisdom of the world that she couldn't know. So it made me start to think that perhaps this idea that consciousness is non-local, that our, our brains are like receivers of a radio signal, and that possibly we can turn the dial. So since 1981, I've been really on a search to to look at that phenomena of channeling, of consciousness, and of course there was Jane Roberts in the 70s, Edgar Casey used to sort of channel his higher self in the, um, in the 20s and 30s, and out, actually throughout the ages, the prophets used to channel the word of God, the priestess Adelphi used to channel Apollo and give uh, oracles of the future. So. This has been a phenomenon that's actually not new, but it's part of the history of the human race, our ability to bridge consciousness to other dimensions. So when I heard about today's guest, Paul Zelig, and his ability to tap into these uh, beings uh, who are bringing through as a Christ energy, and, and that's not a person, that is a a level of consciousness. Jesus' name wasn't Christ. He was a Christ who manifested the divine essence. But that's also our destiny. We're here to manifest the divine essence. And throughout time, we've had help. So today, we're going to talk about a little more help that we have. I have Paul Zelig here. And he's channeled through this book, I Am Word. And I am word is sort of the code that his guides, his beings use to talk about their presence and our evolution. How's that as an introduction? That was a great introduction. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. You nailed it. <laughs> well, good. I think your story's interesting, uh, too. Like, um, you were just sort of a regular guy, you know, going out to bars, having drinks, and then, then you wanted... You, you, Tell us, you wanted something more. What happened? Yeah, you know, I, it was 1987, uh -huh. I think. I was about a year out of, out of Yale where I'd, I'd studied playwriting. And I had a list of things I had to have achieved by the age of 25 that I thought would make me OK <laughs> in the world. Right. And it was, a, it, was a, it was a sort of a slick list. And it had to do with you know publication and production, because I, I was doing theater. And you know, one day, I got everything on a list. And mm -hmm. I looked in the mirror, and you know, my life was a bit of a train wreck and I began to make some big changes. And one of the things that happened was I began to open up, much to my amazement, because I was really raised pretty much an atheist, uh -huh. to a spiritual life. You opened up, but t tell us how that actually opened and happened. Well, it was 1987, uh -huh. and I was told that there was this event that was coming called the Harmonic oh, Convergence. I was there for it. Well, I was there August 16th and 17th, 1987. That's when it happened. That is. That's um, when your opening happened. That's when my opening happened. So there really was an opening of consciousness. For me, wow. I don't know. Somebody said people are going to be waking up. Wow. And so I went up to my roof that mm -hmm. night. I was living, you know, in a friend's building in, in Chelsea, and uh -huh. I, I climbed up to, to the to the roof of the building uh -huh. with a crystal because I thought you needed a crystal and a <laughs> mantra because somebody had given me a mantra and I'd never meditated before. Yeah. And I sat there doing this mantra, clutching this crystal, and I said, wake me up. If somebody's going to be woken up, I'd like it to be me. But I knew that whatever was there, if there was something there, that meant that everything was different than I thought it was. I'd had a few glimmers. I'd had some psychic experiences as a kid right. that I didn't think much of, and they sort of had receded into memory. Um, but what something happened on the roof. And I don't know what it was, but I do know that I started seeing lights around people very shortly thereafter. And so uh, coming from my background, which was, you know, I was sort of a New York kid. I'd been raised on the Upper West Side. We were taught to believe that people who had spiritual lives were probably not very bright. I mean, this was just my background. Not bright and a little crazy. Yeah, exactly. Right. You know, and. Um, I think I needed something that was tangible, that I could feel, that I could see, and later that I could hear. And I was gifted with that. I wow. think it was the only way to get me 
awake. So you had this visceral, real experience, and something stayed with you from that moment. It did. I mean, once I had that, and there were other things going on. I mean, there was a lot of change in my life at the time. You know, I was really cleaning up my act. I was learning who I was and finding out very quickly who I wasn't. But yeah, it really transformed my life, because suddenly I had evidence that I couldn't refute. There was something else going on. And if there was a God or there was some sort of power in the universe, I knew very, very well that that meant that nothing was the way that I thought it had been. Well, that is actually why I really like doing this program, because nothing is the way we've been taught it yeah. is. We're living in a much bigger reality than we've been conditioned to believe. Uh -huh. and, and having people like you on the show is evidence that there's something else going, that we're tapped into something. Mm -hmm. So you had this awakening also mm -hmm. to our kind of expanded sense of the world. But you know, I'm really anxious, I have to say, to talk to your guy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I mean, because, I mean, every, everyone's a psychic. No, that's one level. It is one level. But the, the beings that are working with you are from another place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And can you just describe who we are before we talk to them? Like, who? what's a sense? You don't have to give them a name. I don't work with the names. I, when I was back, mm -hmm. when I first started to hear, and this yeah. is about 16 years ago, um, I was very invested in, you know, who's this and is this okay? And I mean, I was frightened for one. And also, you were fine because these words came out of your mouth. Yeah, and I wasn't planning on this. Yeah. I mean, this is nothing that I had expected to. But if you had told me that I was going to be doing this 20 years ago, I would have thought you were nuts. Like you were going to be a voice for another yeah. uh, level of consciousness. And I don't even know what I thought of channeling as right. a phenomenon. I, right. I think I was probably very suspicious of right. it. I accept it as a possibility. Uh -huh. And the information is what's important. So go on the energy, because my training, you know, as a healer, really taught me to trust the energy that comes through. Right. And when my guides work, they tend to come through with a lot of energy. So right. people can usually feel them um, when they work. When I work with groups, they're sending energy. So the information is there. Uh, initially, the information for me was there to support the energy. When I was doing groups and channeling, I didn't really care that much about what was being said. I cared about whether the frequency in the room would continue continue to build in a way that was tangible for mm. people. In the, in the early days, I mean, people, it was, it was wild. The energy was just nuts. Wow. And I was also very invested in the drama in those days. I wanted big energy. I wanted, you mm. know, a charismatic experience. And I used to have a lot of stuff happen. There was a lot of phenomena. And I'm like, what kind of phenomena? Well, the room would fill with the scent of roses. Wow. I mean, this was early on, That's you know. I love that stuff. Can it, you do that now? I wish. It hasn't <laughs> happened for years. Well, It'll happen again, it'll happen again. I had somebody faint in the middle of the group one. That happened a couple of times. But, but you know, maybe it was too hot in the room. The, Who knows? The you manifestation know? part is really fascinating. Yeah, but those were that was the but that was the beginning group. Us. Okay. But now also getting back to you don't have to tell me who these beings are, uh -huh. but can you tell me like what dimension they're from or where? Well, How do you know they're even good? I essentially I trust them enormously at this point. I trust the energy that they come Because the energy's uplifting. The energy's yeah. beautiful. Uh -huh. And the energy is healing, and yeah. it's always, and you feel like it's the it's the same energy. I mean, you can yeah. tell if the energy's not there. Yeah, if I'm tuning, I mean, essentially, my guides come through with a vocabulary and a cadence that I trust. And it's not you. I don't think it's me. I really, I don't think, I think, you know, I went through a lot of debate around mm -hmm. this. I mean, when you channel, are you channeling your higher self? The bottom line is when I read for people and when my guides come through, they have access to information that I could not have. Right. And I don't care how smart I am. This book was dictated by them into a CD recorder yeah. over two and a half weeks of sessions and required no editing. Right. I'm not capable of it. Right. You know, I kind of wish I was, but I know I'm not. Stay tuned because we are going to have like a little channeling thing here. And for me, Paul's particular channel, types of channeling is, is quite unique because you'll hear the information coming through and then you'll hear him repeating that. Yeah. Um, so, and also I do think the frequency that is bringing through, I, I felt an upliftment. Yeah. And so, I mean, if you want to call your friend. I mean, they're already here. At present, they usually need a question to come through with. Okay. So, I mean, we'll see. And then I have to recede and get out of the way a little bit. Right. I mean, the big question I have is um, we're in a time of transition and change and upliftment. And yeah. we 
Uh, they're here to give us something. Yeah. Can who? Why? What are they here to give us? Show you the way. They're saying to show you the way. We're teachers. They're saying we're teachers. We come from the Christ frequency, and they say we come from the Christ frequency, which is a vibrational level of knowing, which is a vibrational level of knowing, and we come to teach, and we come to teach. We are healers. We are healers. We are missionaries. We are missionaries, and we show the way, and we show the way when people want to wake up. When people want to wake up, we give them a system. We give them a system of attunement, of attunement to a frequency we call the word, to a frequency we call the word, which is God in action, which is God in action. It's the frequency of the creator. It is the frequency of the creator come manifested, come manifested, manifested in, in form. It is the essence of each man and woman. It is the essence of each man and woman. It is who you are. It is who you are in truth, in truth. But you remember this. And when you remember this, your life is transformed. Your life is transformed. The key is knowing. The key is knowing when you know that you are word, when you know that you are word, an aspect of the creator, an aspect aspect of the Creator, everything changes. Everything changes. We are able to show you. We are able to show you that is the work we have come to do. That is the work we have come to do as we do this work. As we do this work, we teach others. We teach others to shift others. To shift others, it is a vibrational knowing. It is a vibrational knowing that is happening. That is happening to each one who is attuned. To each one who is attuned so they can lift the frequency of others. So that they can lift the frequency of others. This is knowing. This is knowing who you are who you are at essence, at essence, period, period, question. And they're saying question. Okay, no, uh, no I, I, thank you, um, because I, I think people watching the show, and I, I, I want to wake up. I want to wake up to that level that's coming through. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, just a part of the process is, uh, um, you know, you're, you're repeating what they're saying, but mm -hmm. is it possible to just... It might be a, a stretch to just have them talk without repeating. You know, when I do groups, they do it. Yeah. Um, but then there's two things that happen. Yeah. Either I end up in a whisper, yeah. and then I try to project the whisper, and then I lose my voice. Uh, I get hoarse. Or I end up speaking in a higher octave. Um, in order to get the words because out. Because aren't you sort of coming out of that state when you repeat the words? Well, but not really. Oh, okay. What they're doing, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm a conscious channel. Right. I'm not a trans channel. Right. I don't really want to be a trans channel. Right, right, right. Um, what, I, what I find interesting for me mm -hmm. is that what I'm given, is it's like reading a fortune cookie and then another fortune cookie. I don't know where the whole thought is. Right. I hear the fragment of a sentence or I hear a whole sentence, and then they continue to build. So you hear it at the same time it's coming out of at your mouth. At the same time I'm whispering, I'm hearing it. Oh. So that's as, yeah, as I whisper, I'm hearing, oh. and then I'm repeating. So they're sort of using your mouth to speak, yeah. and then, all right, let's jump back in. They've been trying to get me to stop whispering for two years. So well, it's you know. okay. No, I think the most important thing is the information. Correct. And they're saying correct. We work with Paul as we can. They're saying we will work with Paul as we can. He has resistance. He's saying he has resistance. <laughs> And I think it's true. So what exactly is happening now on the planet, if you can describe it? I mean, it seems like there is a shift in frequency. And, and okay. give us, like, a, a time frame, maybe? We cannot uh, give a time frame. There's no, we cannot give a okay. time frame. And just tell us in general what's happening with the frequency of, of the human consciousness and, and the planet in general. Okay, let me step out for this okay, if sure, I can. Sure, okay. sure. But that one is going slow. Plans are going to change. They're saying the planet is undergoing change. However, however, the manifestation of this change, the manifestation of this change is sealed, is sealed until the knowing can come, until the knowing can come to support it, to support it. If we were to tell you what would happen now, if we were to tell you what would happen now in detail, in detail, it would take away free will. It would take away free will. But we will tell you this. But we will tell you this. This is a juncture. This is a juncture of truth, of truth. And you each have the ability. And you each have the ability to know yourselves, to know yourselves as this frequency, as this frequency, as this continues to build. As this continues to build, each one can awaken. Each one can awaken to their Christ itself, to their Christ itself, which will bring forward change, which will bring forward change. Now, the question you're asking is, now, the question you are asking is, what is the manifestation of change? What is the manifestation of change on this plane? On this plane, it's the equivalent. It is 
is the equivalent, equivalent of a transformation, other word transformation, transformation of identity, of identity as a mankind, as mankind. Mankind awakens to its own creations, awakens to its own creations. A creation is something that has been manifested. A creation is something that has been manifested by a being, by a being on a global level. And on a global level, the manifestations of this planet, the manifestations of this planet are being tethered, are being tethered still to lower frequency, still to lower frequency as they are being released. As they are being released, you each have the ability, you each have the ability to know yourselves once again, to know yourselves once again as an aspect of the creator, as an aspect of the creator come into form, come into form. We do not get predictions about gloom and doom. We do not get predictions about gloom and doom, and that's because I just step in and ask them. Right. We do not, and they just say we do not because, and they're saying because you each have choice. You each have choice. There is an awakening happening. There is an awakening happening. It is a phenomenon, yes. It is a phenomenon, yes. There is a trajectory. There is a trajectory that is in place, that is in place, and it's happening very quickly. And it is happening very quickly, very, very quickly, very, very quickly, and you can each have the ability, and you each have the ability, have the ability to rise to the occasion, to rise to the occasion. All you have to do, all you have to do is say yes, is say yes to the possibility, to the possibility that you can be this energy, that you can be this energy. I am word. I am word is a claim of truth. It is a claim of truth. It is saying yes. It is saying yes, 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 yes. This is who I am. This is who I am as the creator, as the creator, an aspect of my creator, an aspect of my creator embodied, embodied, period. They're saying period. And essentially what the guides say, what my guides say is the Christ within us is essentially dormant until it's awakened. Right. Once it's awakened, it has one charge. And that's to realize itself fully mm -hmm. through the being that, that it, it is party to. Right. And when you do that, you're actually supporting everybody else and going through the same action because I, it works with, with, with energy. I think you are, and it's great. I love the stuff that's coming through. So let's jump back in. Okay. If you don't mind. I'm happy and, to step out. No, and, and, and just kind of add, if we could do an attunement to the people watching, because I want to know how to fully embrace and be empowered by this energy that seems to be now available in a way for the first time for humans yeah. on this planet. So how can we fully be the Christed essence of that here. They're saying the tomb is here, so I can please say this with us. And they're saying, would you please say this with us? I am word through my body. I am word through my body. I am word through my body. Word, I am word. Word, I am word. I am word through my frequency. They're saying frequency. I am word through my frequency. Word, I am word. Word, I am word. I am word through my knowing of myself. I am word through the through the knowing of myself. As word. As word. Word, I am word. Word, I am this word. Is the they're saying this is the attunement, and I'm actually feel this is Paul, but I can feel you shift. Correct, we're shifting him. I feel. And they're like saying we're shifting him. This is the attunement. This is the attunement. I am word through my body. I am word through my body. Word, I am word. Word, I am word. I am word through my vibration. I am word through my vibration, word I am word, word I am word, I am word through my knowing of myself as word, I am word through my knowing of myself as word, once you are in this frequency. Once you are in this frequency, you begin to work with it actively. You begin to work with it actively. I am word through my neck. I am word through my neck. I am word through my neck. I am word through, I am word through the one I see before me. I am word through this issue. I am word through this issue. What this does is it brings the energy. What it does is it brings the energy of the self, of the self at this creative level, at this creative level. They're saying creative level to the issue, to the issue, to the body, to the body, to the situation. Here they're asking you to receive a hand on the heart and the third eye. And this will be to everyone as prayer up here. And this will be for everyone, really. Hand on heart, third eye. Receive a hand on the heart and the third eye. Let the energy come through you. And they're saying, let the energy come through you. We're shifting you now. And they're saying, we're shifting you now. We have the ability to do this. We have the ability to do this. We do not need bodies and hands. We do not need bodies and hands as you know them, as you know them, to shift frequency, to shift frequency. We are essence. We are essence. 
essence, and consequently, and consequently, we move through energy. We move through energies, energies in ways you don't understand yet. You don't understand yet, but the attunement to the word. But the attunement to the word as a frequency, as a frequency is available to each of you, is available to each of you as you demonstrate it, as you demonstrate it, as you demonstrate it, as you demonstrate it through this decree, through this decree, I am word through my body. I am word through my body. I am word through my vibration. I am word through my vibration. I am word through my knowing of myself. I am word through my knowing of myself. You attune yourself. You attune yourself and you shift into the frequency of the word. And you shift into the frequency of the word as you are in this frequency. As you are in this frequency, what you manifest, what you manifest must be in congruence, must be in congruence, congruence with this frequency, with this frequency. You cannot use it for ill. You cannot use it for ill. You cannot hurt it. You cannot hurt it. Hurt it. It is essence. It is essence. It is divine energy. It is divine energy and it attunes you. And it attunes you as you agree to it. As you agree to it. Period. Period. Question. Mm. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. And I think it will keep building. I mean, I do feel a healing energy. I feel like a, a shift in vibration. Yeah, and cool. how do we then tap into that same consciousness frequency when when we're not being fed by the source. They're saying choose it, choose it, choose it. But it's not passive. They're saying it's not passive. You why you should choose it? Choose the energy. Choose the energy. Choose to claim. Choose to claim it as your birthright. As your birthright. You are divine essence. You are divine essence. At truth. At truth. That is who you are. That is who you are. The forgetting of this. The forgetting of this and the belief that it is not allowed. And the belief that it is not allowed is the problem here. Is the problem here when that is no longer a problem. When that is no longer a problem, when you no longer believe, when you no longer believe that you need permission, that you need permission to claim your identity, to claim your identity as a divine being. As a divine being, you can be free. You can be free, but it is here when you claim it. But it is here when you claim it. The frequency is always available to you. The frequency is always available to you. It is present now. It is present now when you say yes to it. When you say yes to it, it comes, it comes, and it will never fail. And it will never fail fail period the same period so um we're coming to a point in our history i mean we're at this point but 2012 people talk about as a major shift in this kind of awareness is this true are you getting we don't have to give time frames but it's is true. that is that it is a, true it is true. true it is true that there is an awareness that there is an awareness and a juncture and a juncture that is being approached that is being approached how this will manifest how this will manifest on this plane on this plane is to be seen is to be seen, but we sing a song of hope. But we sing a song of hope and love and love and awareness and awareness of the promise of the Christ, of the promise of the Christ coming through in each man and woman, coming through in each man and woman as their true selves, as their true selves. We are heralding a new song. We are heralding a new song. If this will be the song, if this will be the song that some hear, that some hear, they will have a very different experience. They will have a very different experience of the changes to come, of the changes to come. What's the song again? Can you help a few bars. I am word. I am word. I am, word. I am the knowing. I am the knowing of myself, of myself as an aspect of the creator, as an aspect of the creator, and as I know this to be true. And as I know this to be true in me, in me, it is true in everyone. It is true in everyone, period. Period. And they say this, Paul. And they're saying, yes, say this, Paul. I mean, one of the things that they say in the book and yeah. is that you really can't expect to be the light and hold your brother in darkness. You cannot expect to be this and not witness it in everybody else. Right. That's course. the agreement. So the, actually, essentially what you're saying is as we expand consciousness, as we expand who we are in frequency, these other realities start to manifest themselves. They are present already. They're saying they are present already. They have been present. They have been present. You're just seeing them now. You're just seeing them now. It's not that it's new. It's not that it's new. It's awakening. It's awakening to, to it at a, new, at a new level. That's what's really happening here. That's what's really happening here. Get out of the way. And they're telling me to get out of the way because I want to get in and comment. And they're saying well, no. You don't have to comment. Thank you. We want to hear the source. Thank you. Okay. This is an essence. This is an ess in essence an awakening, an awakening that is happening at a global level, that is happening at a global level as we 
we teach through Paul. As we teach through Paul, we will teach through you. We will teach through you and your fellows, and your fellows in different ways, in different ways as you become attuned to the frequency. As you become attuned to the frequency in the knowing, in the knowing of yourself, of yourself as an aspect of the Creator. As an aspect of the Creator, you awaken others. You awaken others by your very essence. By your very essence. You don't have to go out and teach them. You do not have to go out and teach them or say anything or say anything. Your vibrational frequency. Your vibrational frequency will be in accordance, will be in accordance with a new field, with a new field that will shift the fields of others, that will shift the fields of others. This is a chain reaction. This is a chain reaction. It is a blessing. And it is a blessing. It is here for good. It is here, other word, for a reason. For a reason. And the reason is to awaken man. And the reason is to awaken man. To awaken mankind. Kind to his glory. They're saying to his glory, period. Period. Thank you. So, um, any final words that, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Um, so, any final words that uh, these guys want to leave us with this broadcast because um, I'm interested, you know, in, in their highest potential that they see for us. Okay, we're love. I mean, we've heard this before. It's embodying this. and But I want to take something home with me. It's the, it's, they're saying it's different now. They're saying it's the expression of it. Great. It's not the, know, the knowing of it tangentially. Tangentially, it's not about feeling good. It is not about feeling good and being good. And being good, it's about being this frequency. It's about being this frequency embodied. Embodied, that is a radical teaching. That is a radical teaching, and it has not been given yet. And it has not been given yet in a way that can be healed. In a way that can be, other words, healed. Healed through others. Through others. So it is being given now. So it is being given now when you claim your truth. When you claim your truth, you are working in a new frequency. You are working in a new frequency in expression, in expression and how you are expressed. And how you are expressed will be transformed, will be transformed through the work we do, through the work we do. It is promised. They're saying it is promised, period, period. So I want to be that. I want to be now. that. So I, You are that now as you claim it, as you claim it, as you choose it as you choose, as you are willing to release, and as you are willing to release those aspects of the self, those aspects of the self that are no longer in accordance, that are no longer in accordance with this new awareness, with this new awareness, which includes fear, which includes fear and blame, and blame, which is another way of expressing fear, which is another way of expressing fear, period, period. You cannot hold those frequencies anymore. You cannot hold those frequencies anymore and do the dance to the song we sing, and do the dance to the song we sing. They are here. They are here, but you are the radio. But you are the radio. What do you want to broadcast? What do you want to broadcast? You have that choice. You have that choice. You always have. You always have. We have a new song. We have a new song to sing through you, to sing through you, and we do this in love. And we do this in love, in peace, in peace, and praise of who you are, and in praise of who you are. You are worthy of this. You are worthy of this. Each man and woman is deserving of it. Each man and woman is deserving of it. It is time to know. It is time to know that you are safe in love, that you are safe in love and can be expressed, and can be expressed in truth, in truth, period, period. Thank you so much. I got something. Welcome. They're saying welcome. Thank you for this. And they're saying thank you for the opportunity opportunity to speak, to speak. That would Thanks, be great. Paul. Thank you, Alan. This is Alan Steinfeld for New Realities, and that was a new reality and is, and we can all start to live this truth, I mean, which is the eternal truth. So if you want to reach me, email me at newrealities at earthlink.net and check my website, newrealities.com. Thanks for watching tonight. Oh, hey.